Hey everyone, I'm here with the new 2025 Rivian R1S Gen 2. This is the new tri-motor model. Let's take a look. I'll show you around the interior in a minute, but let's take a quick look around the exterior. It's a bit rainy today, so the exterior isn't quite the cleanest anymore, I apologize. This is the glacier white paint color with 22 inch sport dark wheels. These tri-motor models are just starting to be delivered to customers. It's got two motors in the rear and one in the front, that gives you 850 horsepower, 0 to 60 in 2.9 seconds, just incredible performance, and an estimated 371 miles of range, or up to 405 miles if you switch it into conserve mode. Now, all of the tri-motor models come with a darkout package by default, so all of the Rivian badging and this trim line along the top, it's dark gray instead of silver. It's not completely black, and I've noticed it actually depends on the lighting and the angle of the sun on exactly how dark it looks. Sometimes it can look lighter than this. So don't expect it to look dark all the time. The skid plate and the recovery hooks on the front are also darked out. It's a very dark gray with a subtle satin finish. Looking inside, you can start to see how the colors, materials, and finishes have really been upgraded in the Ascend interior. You can see this new driftwood color for the wood panel on the dashboard. Historically, the Ocean Coast interior has come with dark ash wood, that darker black color, but I think this lighter wood goes beautifully with the Ocean Coast leather. The wood has grayish blue streaks running through it. It's really striking. The seat backs of the driver and passenger seats are wrapped in fabric instead of the plastic you get on the lower trim. The steering wheel cover is now this vegan leather. The sides of the door panels have this vegan leather with this bronze stitching. Even the hinged door pocket is wrapped in leather. The sides of the center console by the footwell are wrapped in leather even along the bottom of the center console and the second row. All around, there's just less plastic stuff facing the user. The headliner is now this very luxurious feeling suede material. And all of these shiny, metallic looking accents, which were previously silver, now have this nice bronze tone. Wrapping around the center console, along the bottom of the seats and the seat controls, along all the door handles, the segments between the portion of the seats, even around the pull-down second row cup holders. And all of the seats have this plaid pattern stitched into them. You'll find plaid accents everywhere, or along the front floor mats, the seat back pockets, the second row floor mats, the sides of all the headrests, even the back of the grab handles. Looking at the third row, third row seats have that plaid stitching, a matching floor mat. And some people on Rivian forums and Reddit have mentioned that their recent R1S Gen 2 deliveries no longer come with these third row compartments on the sides. I did see one comment on Reddit that only the dual motor configurations are affected by that, while the tri-motor and quad motor models still have those cubbies. So that seems to check out with what I ended up receiving here. The Ascend package also comes with a dynamic glass roof, which lets you push a button on the touchscreen to electronically tint the glass roof. Significantly reduces the amount of light entering the cabin, but also the heat that you feel on the top of your head when you're driving around on a warm day. And when it's off, the glass roof is still fully transparent. The only problem I noticed on delivery is that when you open up the driver door, the driver door panel gets very, very close almost drumming up against that front panel. It looks like it's just making contact. Whereas on the passenger side, there's plenty of clearance. So I'll be filing a service ticket to get that door adjusted. Otherwise, it's a beautiful vehicle. The build quality is really great, better than I expected. I hope this walkthrough was helpful to anyone else who's considering a Rivian or eagerly awaiting the arrival of a Rivian they've already ordered. Thanks for watching.